An Indianapolis father is sharing a message for those who are going through troubling situations after a hit and run incident left his daughter dead. WRTV's Adam Schum shows us how a victim's final moments played a role in the arrest of her ex-boyfriend. The pictures, the smile, and the joy on her face. She was my baby. She was my baby. 29-year-old Kayla Bowling's life. And I wish she was still here. Will now be forever remembered through pictures and memories. Dad loves you and he misses you. Attention Southeast 32, PI yeah, hit and run. Female on a bicycle by an unknown vehicle that sped off. You don't have to worry about your son. Robert Bowling leaves flowers here every day. Daddy fainted when she was born. A growing memorial marks the location where 29-year-old Kayla Bolton was struck by a hit-and-run driver on Wednesday, June 1st. Once we found out who it was, we knew it was just what, just a hit-and-run. Court documents reveal that Kayla's ex-boyfriend was arrested in the case. When we found out it was him, we knew what he did. We... Those documents show that Bowling's family members told police that Kayla's ex-boyfriend had been stalking and harassing her. New court documents say he also slashed her vehicle's tires days before. I seen the knife in his hand. I told my daughter to go in the house. According to those documents, a neighbor heard the incident happen, ran out, and called 911. The neighbor told IMPD Kayla gave her the license plate number of the vehicle that hit her. He barely got the bike. He got hurt. The bike was just in the way. To be able to give that information that then allowed us to then go forth and make the arrest, and in a sense, I mean, a victim solving their own crime. Kayla Bowling leaves behind a son. You ain't got to worry about him. At the same time, Robert Bowling has a message for anyone in a troubled relationship. If you can get away, stay away. So other families won't be in the same situation as his. We got your son. You ain't got to worry about him. Working for you. It's, it's a nightmare. This keeps playing over and over and over. Adam Shooms, WRTV. We asked IMPD if this was a domestic violence situation, but officers say they don't believe it was more than a hit and run incident. We also asked Metro Police if they are investigating this as a homicide, and they say they aren't at this time. The Marion County prosecutor will determine the final charges in this case.